What do you think is, what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten when you've got the munchies, when you're high as shit? Oh, I'm not going to be weird. I'm going to say excellent. The, okay. best, the best thing I've ever made, the best uh, experiment that I've ever created was I got stoned and I had a box of kicks, which is a fun cereal mm-hmm. to have in general. Just the light sweetness. It doesn't overpower you. It's not cinnamon toast crunch, but what is? <laughs> and then <laughs> I looked over and I I saw our Nutella and I was like, we got to mix these two together and put them in that Nutella, hit that ice cold milk and started to ball up and made it like a little chocolate with the kicks. I was like, this is, this was a great high decision. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I had a, uh, a leftover cannoli in my fridge and the, uh, the shell was like stale. So it wasn't crunchy anymore. But it was kind of just like, you know, it was just in between, not soft, not crunchy. So I took out all of the, the cannoli filling and I spread it onto a tortilla and I had like a soft cannoli, a soft taco cannoli. And I was like, this is the best thing ever. And then I posted it on my Instagram and everyone was like, this is fucking disgusting, bro. And I was like, I could tell you right away people will make fun of that. <laughs> ta- taco Bell is probably like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I did my my best one ever, which is now you know it's been immortalized in a book. Was Eggo the Eggo ice cream sandwich? Like mm-hmm. Eggo waffles, put peanut butter, uh, half baked Ben and Jerry's on the made a sandwich, then put fucking drinkled syrup on it and ate it with a fork. Unbelievable. Oh, okay. And aren't you the ones who said that you don't do classy food? When you're <laughs> Can you just say true. that? Yeah. Are you over here? You over here? That sounds like something that they, they charge you $30 for. <laughs> what a fork and knife. <laughs> How, where do you stand on, um, are you, or do you ever dabble in the world of dominoes? In the, the food or the bones? Which are <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 we, we had a big argument the other day regarding the lava cakes at Domino's because I oh, think those lava bro. cakes, I think you could serve those at like a Michelin star steakhouse as a lava cake dessert and nobody would even know the difference. I'm a strong lava cake supporter. I have to agree with you with that for sure. Domino's actually has a very uh, warm place in my heart just because uh when I was coming up and I didn't have money at all, my son had my son, who people know me, my son has autism. His diet was very limited. All he would want to eat is cheese, pizza, extra sauce. And um, my friend worked at a Domino's. I didn't have much money at all. And he just, at one point, he was like, here's 50 free pizza coupons wow. and i would just call this place up every week to the point that they were like where'd you get these from <laughs> I was like, i'm like i'm not snitching i'm not snitching <laughs> you're like, I'm like you're like an addict who stole like a doctor's prescription pad <laughs> <laughs> and yeah domino's is a funny uh you get a lot of people here in new york who are who are above domino's because you know you can get good pizza on the corner and it's I'm not going to say that it's better than, you know, the, the, the homemade pizzeria that's been there for 60 years and in, in the name of the same family, but two things, these things can coexist. They both can yeah. be, both can be, you know, like you said, a good place. That's in your like heart. saying McDonald's shouldn't exist because a burger at home is better yes. or, or because barbecues exist. Right. Like of course, <laughs> if we want to do it, we should all just have a burger at a backyard barbecue. Cause there's no burger that tastes better, but <laughs> You out of that occasion, you want two mix cheeseburger meal with the fry and a drink, that's, uh-huh. and that's a different that's a different experience. I was about to ask you what your go to order at McDonald's is, but I think we just got our answer. <laughs> got it. There was, <laughs> there was one time when I was I walked into a Domino's in New York, and I was like I wasn't like drunk, but I, I had a few beers, and uh, I, I was really hungry. I just wanted to grab a slice. I walked into a Domino's and was like, Do you guys like, can I get two slices? They almost called the police. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, dude, we didn't even know this door worked, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, it's it's five dollars for a full pizza. What do you know? We don't serve slices. <laughs> You're like, I got 60 cents. Can you help me out? <laughs> and, that, and that was recently <laughs> I was say, the sad thing is that's what john was like 29 when he did that <laughs> <laughs> not bro i was 32 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have known better 
used to go to pizzeria in Hoboken when I lived there called Seven Star Pizza. And they had one of these places, the slices were like this big. For some, you know, one of, you know those places that just made comically large slices. Mm-hmm. So I would get that and the garlic knots, I believe, were one dollar per order. And and it came with like 20 garlic knots. So I'd eat dinner, like probably dinner and, and breakfast the next morning for like three dollars total. Two dollars for a slice, a dollar for garlic nuts, knots. And it kept me kept me alive. I mean, it kept me afloat oh, for you know, several years. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we got the, I think the LA version of that was a burrito truck. There was this burrito truck in Highland Park, burrito so big, five bucks. I'd split it in half, have it for lunch, have it for dinner, and that would be my thing. I kind of miss that stuff, man. You know, I don't. (laughs) (laughs) I recall it. I, I remember. 96% of you motherfuckers watch these videos and aren't subscribed. Shout out to the 4%. You are good people. 4% of people are watching. I think that's about about what the, I I would guess, the breakdown of good people versus bad people in the world. Good people versus bad people. Probably about 96% to 4%. That's fair. But be a good person. But it's not even, I'm not even asking you to be a good person. I'm asking you to push a button. Yeah, but I'm asking you to click a button. Yeah, you, yeah, you can be a bad person still, but just click. You the can button. be a piece of shit. Just click subscribe. Ninety six percent of you watch these clips, and they're like, "Oh my god, that was a funny clip from this podcast. I liked it." And I'm just not gonna help them out. The people who work to make it, the people who work to produce it, to post it, to upload it, and there's nothing from you. You're a bad person if you don't subscribe. Be a good one. <laughs>